Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be reviewing this second quad in the Charlotte Tilbury Holiday Collection. This is the Palette of Pearls in Cosmic Pearl. So if you want to see my thoughts on this, swatches, demo, comparisons, all that good stuff, then just keep watching. Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I am a parodic knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys. And if you are a noob here, I love Charlotte Tilbury. I have quite a large Charlotte Tilbury collection. So when it comes to reviews, I can definitely speak from a lot of experience with the brand. All of us in America have been waiting for this quad to come out. So a few days ago, the Cosmic Pearl palette launched on the Charlotte Tilbury website. Now as far as I'm aware this is going to just be a Charlotte Tilbury exclusive so I don't think it's going to come to Sephora. Don't hold me on that but that's what the website says itself says a charlottetilbury.com exclusive. I am not sure why this launched after the first quad, which is the Celestial Pearl, but I actually ended up really falling in love with the Celestial Pearl. I wasn't overjoyed when this launched but I got it just because and it ended up becoming one of my favorite Charlotte Tilbury quads. I'm not even kidding you guys. I love it more and more every time I use it. I even love it more than when I reviewed it just so you know. So I was really excited about this one. This one is definitely more deep. This is going to give us the depth that you might have wanted that the Celestial Pearl didn't give you. So I'm really excited to put this on my eyes. Now I have used this before. I used it a couple of days ago. So I do have some experience with this but I haven't used the star of the show. So I'm excited to do that today. So this quad is going to be $56. It is super pricey. I'm never going to tell you a Charlotte Tilbury quad is worth it. Just simply based on the value. You don't get a lot of product. However, I still love my Charlotte Tilbury quad so I keep coming back let's take a closer look at the packaging so it has holographic kind of marbled background which I don't think is going to pick up on camera and then you have the cute stars on it because the theme of this is cosmic pearls this has an 18 month shelf life and it's made in Italy and you will see on the back here as each of the colors labeled in the traditional style that Charlotte Tilbury has all of her quads so we have the prime the enhance the smoke and the define I don't think I'm going to use that in this manner, but you can see this one is definitely more warm. It has these two shades which are more warm, and then it has this really cool tone shade which is like a duochrome. So let's swatch the top two shades. They feel really smooth and creamy, very consistent with the Charlotte Tilbury formulation. And they swatched really nice, very easy. Let's get into the matte shade and then this duochrome shade. Now you can see this had a star imprint on it, but it went away pretty fast. I've used this twice. So this has kind of a warm purple blue shift to it. Charlotte Tilbury's not come out with a formula like that one before. So here's the matte shade. Feels consistent with all of the other Charlotte Tilbury colors. And here are going to be the four shades. So by the way, they do describe this shade as a duochrome teal blue brown. This is a warm burgundy. This is a dusky rose. And then we have a peachy pink. Something that I just realized I forgot to mention. She does say that this is limited edition. I'm going off track now. But <laughs> I really love the packaging of this much more than her regular line. Because I feel like it feels more sturdy. It just feels more luxe. And then of course it's definitely a lot prettier than the normal packaging so I'm really happy with the packaging of this and if you haven't seen the box even the box that it comes in is really really cute with the stars and it's gold I really like this I'm sorry I'm doing this all out of order I'm just so excited let's get to the tutorial shall we I'm gonna start off with the Vizzy Art eyeshadow primer so we're gonna start off with this shade right here it is a shimmery color but I always say Charlotte Tilbury shimmer shades are amazing because they work fantastic in the crease. Um, that's very pigmented. <laughs> I've used this shade before, but I really packed it on my brush apparently. I went a little bit softer with this side. This is an Olimar Cosmetics crease brush, by the way. 
So don't be scared of using Charlotte Tilbury's shimmers in the crease. You can see that they blend out just fine. They don't look awkward or anything. If you aren't familiar with Charlotte Tilbury, the style of her brand is about giving you a glowy eye. So a lot of her products use a lot of shimmer. It's a very sophisticated shimmer, however. She really does a good job, you know, of not making it too glittery or anything. All right, let's go in with the deep burgundy shade. And I'm going to put this in the outer corner. Really great matte shade. This is super blendable, very easy to use. I'm using a rougher number 14 brush. And I'm putting this in the inner and outer corner. So we are going to go for a halo eye today. Uh, you can see how this matte shade is just doing the work for me, which is what we love to see. Beautiful quality as per usual. I'm really excited to go into the duochrome shade. I haven't used this one yet, so let's see. I'm going to pop it right in the center of my eyelid. It has a soft shimmer to it. It's not really metallic or anything. So it's not going to beam off the eyelid. So just keep that in mind. I wish this had more of that beaming glittery formulation that was in the Celestial Pearl. And I wish it was this shade. It still is absolutely gorgeous. And it's a subtle, wearable duochrome shade if you want to have something a little bit more wearable. But I do wish it had a little bit more ba bling but nonetheless, it's still very, very pretty. I just get excited with duochromes, so I like to see them extra sparkly and shiny. Really, really pretty though. Okay, I'm gonna actually go in with the matte shade and I'm gonna run this along the lower lash line. I'm gonna take some of the duochrome shade on the tip of my Esom V27 and let's run this along the lower lash line. Just more so in the center. I'm not focusing it in the outer or inner corner. Taking a pencil brush and we're gonna go into the brightest shade and I'm gonna brighten up the inner corner. And this is a really nice soft shimmer as well. This will look really pretty all over the eyelid. So if you're looking for some inspiration for other ideas that you can do with this quad. The other day I used this in the crease and this all over the lid. You could also use this all over the crease and this all over the lid. You can play with these two or you can just have these two. So there's a few different looks that you can create. This palette is definitely going to pull very warm. It's a completely different vibe than the Cosmic Pearl. So I'm going to put on the rest of my makeup and then I'm going to come back. I'm going to give you my thoughts on this palette, then we'll do comparisons. So here's the final look with liner and lashes. Really cute vampy look. Like you actually get a lot deeper of a look than even I anticipated with this palette. I even went for a darker lip. It will be linked in the description box if you're curious. So I did want to compare the sister to this palette, which I talked about earlier, is the Celestial Pearl. And for these coming out in the same collection, they are so different. Last year with the Holiday Collection, all of them had a similar formulation. You could tell they were a family in the same launch. These, other than the packaging, have no relation whatsoever. The formulas are very, very different. So the Celestial Pearl has no mattes, first of all, and it's much more glittery. This shade right here is very, very loose, kind of glittery in a good way. And there's also a, like a lid topper. Whereas the Cosmic Pearl, it's more traditional to the Charlotte Tilbury luxury palette line. It has a matte, it has two shimmers, and this is a new formulation that's never come out, the Duochrome, which is a little bit more soft. These palettes were to be related. I would have liked for the Duochrome to be more glittery, like the glittery shade that is in the Celestial Pearl, which is going to be this one because this is also a duochrome but it's like a glittery duochrome this is more of a shimmery kind of duochrome so i have them swatched side by side obviously there's no color matches as well and you can see the different formulations in the swatches right there no relation at all so i can't say if you like the celestial pearl you're gonna love the cosmic pearl because they're very very different this one is a lot deeper it's a lot more vampy it's softer in formulation it's a little bit more natural everyday friendly when it comes to the formulation so if you despise glitters lid toppers too shiny of shades and you pass on the celestial pearl i think you might like the cosmic pearl because this has a much more toned down formulation the quality is really nice the colors are really rich 
creamy and blendable, but these two are so, so different. Now, if you're similar to me, I'm going to be honest with you guys. The Cosmic Pearl is cute. I don't have anything really bad to say about it, but I just feel like it's going to blend in with my Charlotte Tilbury Quad Collection. It's just another addition. Whereas with the Celestial Pearl, and I'm probably mixing up all the names, but the, the Celestial Pearl, this one stood out in my collection, and I love it. It's one of my new favorites. It's a great addition, so I'm much more excited about the Celestial Pearl. So it just depends on your flavor, what you like, what you don't like. I'm telling you now the quality on this is really nice, but it's just another Charlotte Tilbury quad to me. That being said, I also have a couple others that I did want to compare for you guys. I really will say though that the Cosmic Pearl is quite unique within the line. You're gonna find a lot of similarities with these three shades, of course, but I actually couldn't find a quad that I was like, oh, this is a very, very clear dupe. So let me show you the ones that I pulled that I thought were similar. So the first one that I have is the Bella Sophia. So again, obviously it doesn't have that purple blue duochrome shade. But let's take that purple blue shade out and let's take the other glitter shade out. Take these two shades out. You kind of have the same palette, right? <laughs> so I did swatch them side by side. Here's the Bella Sophia, here's the Cosmic Pearl. They definitely are different when it comes to swatch and the tones are different. So I would say those aren't very close, but they definitely look the same, right? They had very similar vibes. So the next one that I wanted to pull out is the Vintage Vamp. Not that they necessarily look too much of the same, but again, those burgundy maroon tones were in here. And Charlotte Tilbury loves the burgundy maroon tone. Those were most of the dupes that I could find. There's a lot of burgundy maroon tones in her line, so there was a lot in terms of those shades that I could find. So here's the Vintage Vamp. Honestly, these I find to be quite close if you take these two off the map. Yeah, I mean, if you're not into the duochrome shade, which I can't imagine why you wouldn't be, but let's say you aren't into the duochrome shade, these are quite close. The shade's a little bit more pinky, but very, very close. Okay, these two I almost didn't compare, but I thought I would just in case you happen to be curious. I pulled out Mesmerizing a Maroon. The Mesmerizing Maroon is very, very different in that it's much more purple, but I thought I'd compare the two because because that purpliness kind of brings out the vibe of the duochrome shade. So let's see how they swatch side by side. Obviously, definitely much more purple. I have to say something about the Mesmerizing Maroon formula seems better than this formula. It seemed extra creamy to me, so... Hmm, interesting. But anyways, I wouldn't say that these two are very comparable. And there we have it. Those were my thoughts and comparisons on the new Cosmic Pearl palette from Charlotte Tilbury. I really do like it, but it definitely isn't something that truly stands out to me in my collection. It's pretty, it's nice, but I normally don't even really grab towards tones like this. So I much prefer personally the Celestial Pearl, but that's just me. But still, definitely not a disappointment. I think it's a beautiful quad from Charlotte. But for me, it really is the packaging on these. I just adore the packaging on these. So completely up to you. Can't say it's worth $56. And I hope the swatch comparisons helped you as well. Before I go, I did want to give a shout out to a jewelry company that I found through one of you guys who let me know. So the shop is called Made by Sydney or Made by Sydney Shop on Instagram. And she sells these repurposed vintage designer jewelry. So she'll find like Chanel buttons and then she'll repurpose them and redesign them into jewelry. Now I featured jewelry brands like this before, but they were kind of sketchy, like they disappeared. So I've talked to the owner. She actually was very kind to send this to me. This is not sponsored. I'm gonna buy some of my own after this, I promise you. But I know you guys love this style of jewelry as well because you always ask. The owner is very, very sweet. She's the real deal. Hand makes the stuff in Ohio. I just wanted to support a small business and this stuff is really really cute. Alright you guys I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you so much for being subscribed to my channel and for all of your support I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys. Have a good one